quite right, Mr. Bianchi. There has been a mistake. I do apologize. Well, I hope you can put the mistake right. Oh, yes, don't worry about that. We can let you have a very nice double room with a bathroom looking out over the park. It's number 50. Will that suit you? Yes, I'm sure that will suit us very well. I hope you'll accept my apologies for the mistake here, Mr. and Mrs. Bianchi. Yes, of course. And if you don't like the room when you see it, just let us know and you can choose another one. Thank you. We'll let you know what we think of it. Oh, excuse me. It's bed and breakfast you booked for, isn't it? Yes, that's right. We'll be out a lot, so we'll be having most of our meals in restaurants. Can we eat here if we want to? Oh, yes, we've got a good restaurant, and our prices are quite reasonable. Do we pay after each meal? No, madam. You just give the waiter the number of your room, and the cost of your meal will go out your dinner. Would it have been cheaper to book for all the meals? Our inclusive rate is a little cheaper, but most people in England now book for bed and breakfast only. Thank you. Well, perhaps we could go up to our room now. I'm afraid I shall have to ask you to fill up these forms first. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. Mr. and Mrs. Bianchi complete the forms, which ask for details such as their nationality, home address, and the numbers of their passports. Thank you. I shall have to keep your passports for now. Would you please sign the register, Mr. Bianchi? Yes, of course. Just the name, nationality, and home address of you and your wife. Thank you, sir. A week later, I shall like to send a telegram to our family at home in Italy. Do I have to go to a post office? Oh, no. Well, we can send it for you. Oh, good. And we'd like to go to the theatre tomorrow. Can we book tickets?